Hello, this is Caspaloo, and welcome to either the ultimate or penultimate episode. I don't know, but it's probably one of those. Um, we are in the rift, last floor. Yep, definitely the ultimate or penultimate, alright. <laughs> or the void, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, is there... Okay, that just goes under. And we're fighting shit like this. But it's okay, because we have Octuple Strike, the most OP uh, ability combination in the game. Uh, or damn close to it anyway. <laughs> hmm. That was lackluster. Let's see though. 10,000 HP, vulnerable to water. So I guess it... So it may count as a desert monster, but probably not. Uh, but it's vulnerable to water, so Leviathan deals extra damage. Which, you know, would probably be useful if I didn't have this. Anyway, a uh, box. It's an elixir! And... Oh, hey, just a sec. And we're back. Okay. In we go. That warping animation is kind of crazy. Still the last floor. And it's another box. Elixir or Fuma Shuriken? It's a trap? Oh my god! It's Shinru. Um... I have a feeling I'm gonna have to climb for half an hour after this. Uh, well, I'm not dead yet. What do you want to bet Shinru absorbs holy? Oh, that dealt 8,000 damage. So, when I was warned a long time ago, so, sort of, seemingly a long time ago, about being greedy and having to do half an hour, I somehow suspect it was this. Did not see that coming. Um. Right. Well. I need to do some. Not as much as you might think. Because I did make a save after. Or between the last episode and this one. But I still need to walk all the way here. So. Yeah. See you in a few. And we're back here. This time I'm not going to go near that box because Shinru will freaking kill me. Uh, so then. I assume other boxes are safe though. I mean, it's mind flares. Eww. But yeah, I assume other boxes are safe to pick up. Uh, oh. Well, that didn't kill anything. Um. That did, though. And this should kill at least one of them, I think. And then Lena's. Mimic flares will probably kill the other two. It'll kill at least, again, at least one of them, though, so. Still wacky. I actually sort of like that dynamic for Lena's, or not Lena, for Kryle's thing. Wait, that didn't kill anything, really? Uh, but yeah, I sort of like that dynamic for. Oh, it did kill it. Weird. If I can stop interrupting myself, I do like the dynamic for my octuple strike attack, though. Where it's actually more effective if there's less enemies. It sort of puts an interesting spin on it, because it's untargeted, right? So, it gets more powerful if, if obviously, if there's fewer things to hit, because of the random nature of the attack. Hopefully this will kill the other two. Um... Yep. Okay. Learn- Oh, that's an enemy skill? Really? I had no idea. Anyway, 
what's in the box. It's a Fuma Shuriken. I really want to know what's in the Shiru box now, but it will kill me. I mean, I guess I could use Coral Rings to survive Tidal Wave, but it's freaking Shiru. It, it's pretty damn probable. It has something that would ruin my day just as much. Uh, right after the tidal wave that deals 8,000 damage. I mean, come on. Even if I had, like, just come on. Even if I was 20 levels higher to take on Omega, and everyone mastered like at 10 jobs or something stupid like that, I would still be annihilated by that attack. It's insane! Oh well. Oh well. It's a bragging rights boss. Even if it gives us something good for killing it, it's still a bragging rights boss. Arguably Omega is also a bragging rights boss, but I think you actually get something for killing Omega. like. For example, the Omega weapon. Just call it a hunch. Um, is that a save point or something? Uh, what is the gargoyle thing? Can you please attack the ones on the front row, Cryo? At least once. I'll take it. No, damn it, Barts! Right. Flare time. And actually, then I'd probably want to use Osmos, assuming this is not a save point anyway. Because <laughs> I kind of want to save my position. Kind of do. Because I don't really want to walk all this way again. For a third time. Well, two and a half, I suppose. Because I walk... Yeah. Anyway. Mimic! For... F because doing double flare for free is just awesome. Also apparently counterable, um, although not by th these particular things. Oh, I, that was just wrong. Oh well. Oh well! Uh, white robe. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's just... Necrophobe? This light. I will never give it to you! Okay, so I'm fighting something. Uh, ha ha ha! With these barriers, I'm at, I've achieved invincibility. Do you really believe you can defeat me? Actually, I'm pretty sure I can. I'm pretty sure I can. That didn't do it though. Um, surprisingly. Let's see, I want to scan a barrier, and I want to use Flare. Oh, they have Reflect. That's unfortunate, because I'm gonna about to kill someone. Um... <laughs> oh yeah, it would be Lena, wouldn't it? Oh, I... That's really unfortunate. Oh well. Wait, what? W was was that him or the barrier that used flare? It 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 was the barrier. It's not as powerful as my flare, so it won't kill everyone. But that is still hella nasty, uh, especially after I accidentally killed Lena. Um, <laughs> oops. Okay, that, that sucks a little bit. Um, Bart's can revive Lena, but... But... I'm a little bit concerned here, right now. Hopefully this will kill one of the barriers. It did, and I swear, if the barriers revive each other, I am just gonna rage. I'll do it. I will do it. 
they better not revive each other. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Okay, hopefully this will kill another barrier. Because, uh, oh. No, don't attack the Necrophobe. Blizzga? Eh, that's not so bad. Again, not so bad. I think even- I don't think that'll even kill Lena. Nope, it's a near miss though. Uh, let's use a Phoenix down on Ferris because then Lena can heal everyone. As opposed to just using a raise. Uh, there we go. Actually, I might- I haven't used a Phoenix yet. I should probably try that out sometime. I should probably do that. Uh, wait, what? What was that? Uh, attack that one. This probably won't kill anyone. Unless they do double holy on Lena. And they didn't, okay. It's not dead yet. That's a little bit surprising, actually. Uh, you just did that to Lena, didn't you? Son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, I can fix this. Raise, and... I can't use magic on you right now, so... Let's just heal Lena. Because Fair is probably strong enough to heal her mostly to full. Well, or not. Close enough. I think that one barrier is probably dead. Maybe both of them. But may oh yeah, they're both dead. Awesome. Uh, attack him. My my invincible barriers. You've left me with no choice. Have a taste of my true power. It's all you can eat. Flash. Seriously, the best you can do is use flash. What a wimp. Uh, although I'm still not going to use magic on you, because for all I- well, I'll use Libra. Uh, but for all I know, you still have Reflect. So I don't really want to kill one of my dudes again. No, you don't have Reflect. Okay. Uh, you're just sort of a wimp. Uh, you have a lot of HP. More than Bahamut, even. But... We against Wind as well, really. Hmm. And Earth. Really? Because you look like you're floating. And holy. <laughs> and poison. You're weak against everything, aren't you? Oh my god, you're actually weak against everything. Wow, what a wimp. You are so gonna die. Uh, I wanna. However, that said, I am gonna use haste. Uh, although, I could use Phoenix instead. You know, no, I. Haste is probably a better choice, but I don't care. I want to use Phoenix. Just because I can. Uh, oh. Oh. Ne- Never mind. I haven't used Sildra yet. I don't know what element she is. I would say she's water, except Leviathan is water. And it would, wouldn't make much sense for them both to be water. Then again, well, you know, let's do this anyway. Why not? Thunderstorm. I think I know what her element is now. Just call it a hunch. Hurricane, you missed. Man, what a wimp. Your barriers were doing all were doing all the heavy lifting. And they were just killed. Is Gilgamesh why is Gilgamesh here? What Gilgamesh? I made it! Why, hello there! Surprised to see me? Ha! If I'd left you in the lunch, I'd look like a jerk for all of history! Thought I'd let that happen as if! Hmm, you're a big mouth. If you're so eager to fight... Oh no, this is the Necro. You can be the first to die! Why did Gilgamesh machine even come back? I was winning! And he's in the way, actually. Um, <laughs> let's see, you're weak against everything, so this might be more effective than Flare. Um, yeah, he's actually in the way. I think you're in the back row now. Uh, he's facing me, though, so I don't know what's up with that. 
Oh, really? Just try it, Baldy! You can't even hold a birthday candle! To the blazing flame of my winning spirit! Oh, he's facing the right way now. Uh, I'm not gonna... Is Gilgamesh just gonna... Cryo! Your grandfather! He was a pretty strong guy! Grandpa! And you, Ferris! You must fall in love or something! <laughs> and try acting a little more like a woman if you still know how! Seriously, Gilgamesh? Hey! Always so selfless towards animals! Never lose that pure heart! And Bart! I wanted to fight you one more time! Mano a mano! You have admirable companions! I envy you! Gilgamesh. You're a king among heroes, Gilgamesh. I don't- I still don't know why you stuck your head into a battle I was clearly winning, but... Do you know... Wh whatever. Uh... Enough of this! Die! Flare? Really? Like... None of this shit he's doing to you would have even hurt me, so... Well, it would have hurt me, but it wouldn't have stopped me. Like, I would have finished him off by now. Um... <laughs> I believe that's my line! Self-destruct? He self-destructed? Uh oh I, I don't... Oh, Gilgamesh. You're a true champion of heroes, but that was totally unnecessary. Um, in the most extravagant way possible. You will be remembered forever as the mighty Gilgamesh. I certainly won't forget. I certainly won't. Definitely. I mean, I always, even before I, I started playing Final Fantasy V, I had an appreciation for Gil Gilgamesh and his legendary, um, I suppose you could say legacy, but I can now say without, without any doubt in my mind, Gilgamesh is my favorite Final Fantasy character. Just period. He's just the best there is and ever will be, quite possibly. Uh, anyway, we're probably right at the very end now, so... Hot on the heels of Gilgamesh's heroic sacrifice. Let's confront x -Def. You know, uh, uh, assuming this is the end. It looks like the end. Um... Oh yeah, there he is. We've come for you, Exta. Even the great Gilgamesh has fallen. Although he will be back. And now, and now, we will end you for all that you have made suffer. It took you long enough! But now you are too late! <laughs> Finally, it is in my grasp! The greatest power known to man! The power to control the universe! The power of the void! Uh, where'd he go? 
Oh, right, he's a tree. Um, that just really never gets old. Does it? It just really doesn't. I will crush all who stand in my way! I think it begins with your precious friends! I hope you enjoy watching your companions be sucked into the void! Uh, that was Castle Ball. Oh no, the Moogle! Also, the Windrake. Wait, where's the Moogle? I gotta be honest, I'm not even sure where this- Oh, it's the Pirate Fortress. No, not Bako's wife! And also, it's sitting mid! Huh, I thought we had more friends. Stop it! Let them go! You big nasty tree. You. I have- I have fire, and I know how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> And now you too will meet your end inside the void! No, we can't lose. After what Gilgamesh has given us? Oh, we just totally got sucked into the void, didn't we? Uh, well then. Did we have a plan B? I hope I uh wait was that who I thought it was Hey look it's Saban also no it's Dorgan It's the Dawn Warriors! Zazat! Kelliger! Does that mean- It's Galoof! Grandpa! Galoof! Yeah, I already said that. Um. Enter the- No, ahem. <laughs> Enter the Dawn Warriors! Barts, Lena, Ferris, Kryle. We'll hold off the void. You kids take care of X-Death. The only ones who can save the world from the power of darkness are the warriors of light. That's you. Now go. Helped by the ghosts of heroes of the past. Well, the spirits, anyway. What? Why is the power of the Lord disappearing? No matter! Take this! It won't work, X-Death. The spirits of heroes pat- Wait. Is King, King Tycoon? Father! Aiding the Dawn Warriors. Now! This is it! Take your chance! Destroy X-Death! Onward, Light Warriors! And onward will we shall go. X-Death! You'd better get ready, cause here we come! Well, you're definitely a tree. Um, I'm gonna start using Raven Attack probably, but first, I have something that I said I would do a long time ago. There's only one thing. 
thing that this was appropriate to use against, and you're looking at it. I speak, of course. A big scalopor! Yeah, I just went there. Okay then. Oh, you know what? I just realized I did not actually. Oh no, I did. Okay then. That's good. Uh, I'm not even gonna use Libra. I don't need to know. I don't. It won't tell me what he absorbs, and I'm gonna be, sti be sticking predominantly to non-elemental attacks. So, double casting Flare is probably a good call. Like, I think Bartz does slightly more damage than double Flare with his Flare Sword, but only, only slightly. Uh... Right, you need to use haste. And I could throw a, another thing, but I suspect this will deal the most damage. Uh, oh my yes. Let me think, that was near, that was like 1400 damage. Wow. Flare Sword! No, not 1400, sorry. 14,000 damage! Which is good, because he's a tree, so he has a lot of... Oh, I just realized that his armor, his armor is sticking out of his head like a tumor or something. Weird. Also, he's freaking huge. Like, I see... I can see him in the background. Man. Freaking trees. Uh, you need to heal. Heal power! And more of this. Meteor! Good thing I healed. Good thing I healed. Because this could kill someone. Uh, it just killed Kryl, in fact. That's, that's a little bit inconvenient. Um. <laughs> oh well. I can just fix it with Raze. X Death was engulfed? What? By the void? What? No! Why? The void was mine to command! How could it? How could it be? What the hell is going on? What just happened? I didn't kill him, I don't think. I did- I honestly- There's no way he died that neo X death. All, all memories, dimensions, dimensions existence, existence, all shall return, return to nothing. nothing. Then I too can disappear, disappear forever. Okay. Sir. I've seen- I know what a tree looks like. X-Death- X-Death was a tree, and you, sir, are no tree! You're really creepy looking, though. Um, yeah... Creepy for sure, um... Also, you're kind of moving, and wow, that slow down. That is not on my computer, that is just from the game. Um, let's see... Just heal Kryl, I think, is the best option right now for you. Oh, I missed another chance to use Phoenix, damn it. Well, if he kills someone again, then I'll use Phoenix, I guess. It's the best I can do. Do you know? Wait. This music sounds familiar. Where have I heard- th oh, there's three different targets. Where have I heard this music before? I guess I'll target the head. Because it's in the front.
Is this a remix? Damn, this is gonna bother me now. I'm certain I've heard this music before. Oh well, though. I guess it's not that important at the end of the day. Let's see now. I want to use Mimic, but I need to put uh, Haste on Cryl. So let's do that. Let's do it. Haste. Vacuum Wave. Ha ha ha! Shield Power. Shields are OP. And like, there's so many Final Fantasy games. Rapid Fire! Not as OP as Rapid Fire, though. Which is just the most OP. It would be a little bit better without the slowdown, I'll admit, but what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Not much is what. Uh... Delta attack? Man! Wait, she's immune to it, right? She's immune to petrification? Yes! Haha! -ha! I don't need to rehaste someone again. That's that's nice. Um, he's shaking even more violently now, though. That's a little bit frightening. Um, I wonder why. I wonder what happens if you attack his other body parts. Actually, it's sort of hard to tell if I'm even being effective right now. I don't know. Eventually, that eventually something will die. Then either the battle will be over or I'll win. I mean, either the battle will be over, of course I'll win if the battle's over, either the battle's over or I move to the next body part, is what it meant to say. <laughs> Didn't quite come out right though. Uh, yeah, rapid fire, and cure, gah. So slow, but so worth it. Okay, his back part is actually on the back row. His other two parts are not. That's good to know. That is good to know. Hmm. This would be appropriate an appropriate place to summon Bahamut, I think. Vacuum wave! You know, on the off chance I get the opportunity to do so. I think I just killed the head. It sounded like I killed the head. I killed the head! Oh, really? There's four parts? Well, three now, but... Hmm. Well, I'ma go ahead and use Cura from Ferris so that Lena can use Bahamut. Cause I want to use some freaking Mega Flare here. And that's really just what it boils down to. Against three targets, I think Mega Flare is more effective than mimicking double flare anyway. Although, quadruple flare... Wait, no. Anyway. Uh, anyway. Just, yeah. We'll see. Man. That slowed down. It's probably because of the huge sprite that's moving all over the place. It's probably just hard for the, uh... What is it doing? Okay, well, so much. Oh, she's dead. That's that's just great. Uh, and she's dead. That's just worse. Um, the laws of the universe mean nothing. Let me think. What am I going to do here? I am going to use an elixir on Lena. Who is going to use Phoenix on Kryl. Although, I probably shouldn't do it this way. I really want to use Phoenix. Basically is what it boils down to. Um, oh hey, that's going over the menu. Cool. Phoenix on Kryl. Because I'm pretty sure this will revive her, and possibly deal damage as well. It does! Not that much damage, but it should fully revive Kryl, probably. Is it a raise or raise? It's a raise. Okay, that's that's good. Um, now, I'm going to do some healing with Ferris. 
so that I can do no no I can't do haste I'm gonna need to do a full Kyurga so in that case I should use double flare and hopefully I'll kill another part hopefully I don't know. Is he, I think I'm near to killing this part, so we'll find out, I guess. This is definitely an epic final battle, though. I really wish I could remember where I've heard this music before, though. It's really bothering me. Nope, didn't quite kill it. Uh, Rabbit Shop might do the job, though, yeah, assuming Flare doesn't. Really? Actually, if anyone can survive that, it, it would probably be Lena, actually, but... Uh... Not even close. Okay, rapid fire. And... Phoenix down, so that I can use Kyurga. And now I really do need the new Heiska. If I ever get the opportunity for it, anyway. I don't know, it's kind of hard when he can use spells that can pretty much- WHAT?! Gra- WHAT?! No, 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 no! No, no, no! Did that- Wait, what? Oh, wait, it was a whole lot of status effects. Um... And it confused Kryl, which can actually freaking kill me. Uh... Uh... Um... Do elixirs cure stage alignments? It didn't deal any damage, but seriously, Kryl with confusion is the worst scenario. Like, I need to do- I need to freaking kill her with Barts, basically, because- Actually, no, Barts is minimized, so this might not kill her. Uh, no, it killed her. But if I hadn't done that, um... It would have been really bad, because she deals so stupidly high damage. And yes, it happened off-screen once, um, that- I basically have no way to handle her if she starts attacking my party. It's kind of really, just really bad. Um... Lena's also oldified it, so that's, that's not good either. She needs to do- I really wish she had double cast, that would make this go so much more smoothly. I could do haste and healing at the same time. Uh... Because she's the only one of Asuna as well. Uh, well, Bars can fix his own minimized state, so that's something. Uh, did you just kill her? Yes. Of course you did. Right, well, I need Bars to not be mini, so I'm gonna be doing that next, I think. Since... Actually, no. I want to get the clock ticking on you. So, Kryl, maybe? No, I think Kryl will use a... Oh no, I'm too far down. Um, you will use an elixir on Lena to make sure she stays alive. And you can use... You're going to need an elixir pretty soon as well, actually. But... You can use the mallet on Barts. Okay. So far, so good. Good. It's sh he's shaking really hard now. I Again. That's kind of intimidating. Uh... Didn't kill anyone. That's good. Still haven't killed that part. Um... Really still- you know, actually, this is a good opportunity to use an elixir on Ferris. Which, 
you know, I should probably do while I have the opportunity. <laughs> Which is most certainly going to be fleeting. Uh, and it's also a good opportunity for Heska. So, you know, let's do that. I wonder if I can do Shell or Protect on everyone. That would be really, really good right about now. Oh, that reminds me. I wanted to throw the Ash to see what happened um, with them. But having said that, I'm not certain this is the best opportunity for it. It's the last opportunity for it, though. Hmm. Tough choice. Didn't th isn't this the one that just killed someone? No, it's the one that just actually didn't kill anyone. I spoke too soon. Of course, I did. That's just... yeah. Um... I assume that each body part has um, certain abilities, so each one I kill reduces X Death's total power. But that may well be an erroneous assumption. Uh, I just don't know. I just don't. Oh, yeah, I just killed a part. Awesome. Go Barts. Uh, oh wow, I'm taking down HP right now. Um, that's bad. Give me the Heelys, and you know, this is going to be my only opportunity, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Throw the Ash! Yeah, okay. <laughs> I didn't really think that would be very effective, to be honest. I just sort of wanted to do it. I just wanted to do it. That's really just what it boils down to. Was it worthwhile? Probably not, but I'm satisfied in knowing what happens when I throw the ash now. Not the answer, not a whole bloody lot. <laughs> oh well. Um now then. Uh-oh, he's using Grand Cross again. Did he just turn green? His colors are kind of just changing now. But he is about to use Grand Cross. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. So I need to be maxed out on health. And actually having Ferris on standby would be very helpful. Because she can attack Kryle without killing her, most likely. Uh, assuming Kral gets confused. Oh no, you're using Meteor? Okay, well that's its own can of worms. Um, the random damage on this thing. Okay, Kral's dead. Again. Um, no one else is though, so that's good. I can just... Wait, it didn't kill Kral? Really? She... No, no, it did. It did. And... Flare. Oh, there's only one part left! There's only one part left! It's sort of weird that Kral's the one dying the most, since she by far has- well, maybe not by far. But still, she has the most HP out of everyone, because of the, the like, what even is it? I don't know. She has a freaking lot of HP boost from the monk. Um, yeah. Now, I need to do this. And then I need to do it again, honestly, so that Kryl and Ferris, mostly Kryl though, are not vulnerable to just getting one shot. On the other hand, there's only one target yet. Or left, which means that Kral can do a stupid amount of damage to X Death right now. So I might just finish him off on Kral's next turn. It is possible. And. Hmm. I'm trying to think of how I would rate this fight in difficulty. Um. Zero Mess was 
probably harder than this because I didn't know what I was doing against him and I sort of just got by by the skin of my teeth. Uh, on the other hand, Zermus didn't do Meteor, which is kind of a bullshit ability. Um... Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, that did not kill anyone. For once. Which is damn well near essential at this point. Uh, I think Necron from Final Fantasy IX might be harder than this. Because Necron's Grand Cross, not only is it a lot harder in that game to be immune to most stage alignments, but his Grand Cross also deals a lot of damage. Um, I think it inflicted instant death potentially too. It just did literally every status effect in the game. Every negative one, that is. It was just really, really overpowered. <laughs> but at the same time, Final Fantasy IX is pretty... If you know what you're doing in that game, it's not too hard. I don't know. I don't know. This is definitely up there, though, for difficult boss fights. Kefka might be harder, but to be to be perfectly honest, I've never actually fought Kefka. I've played Final Fantasy VI to the... Basically, I've done everything in Final Fantasy VI except for a few War of Ruin side quests. And Kafka's Tower. Um, the reason being, one of those tap side quests I haven't done is the one where you get back a uh, lock. Um, but anyway. Anyway. Um, this guy's almost dead. Just a few more hits ought to do it. Just a few more. I think, at least. I mean, I haven't even scanned him, and even if I did, it probably wouldn't work. But that's that's my feeling. And besides which, when you count an Octo uh, Strike as one hit, then obviously a few hits is going to do it. Hmm. Oh, hey, I killed him! I win! I am the victor! And this is a really long episode. Oh well. It's the final episode. It's allowed to be long. They are, uh, almost by default, they are. I am victorious! I've avenged Gilgamesh and Galoof and King Tycoon and possibly other people. The Dawn Warriors, I guess? To be honest, Galoof is the only Dawn Warrior X-Death actually killed. Half of them self-sacrificed and Ga and uh, Bart's father just sort of died. Um, in the beginning, there was only Void, but from the Void came four essences. They formed the crystals and the world was born. Hope blessed the earth. Courage blazed into flame. Care and devotion turned to water into the seeds of life. Passion for knowledge spread intelligence and wisdom on the winds. If the void threatens to engulf the world, so long as the four essences still exist, light will be born anew. Four essences shall rise from the void and weave the light once again. That was going way too fast. Uh, oh well. Are we going to turn it into crystals? Because I saw how that went in Final Fantasy 13, and I gotta say, it, it doesn't seem all it's cracked up to be. Well, we, we're alive. That much is clear. Um, what? The Void is still here. But, but we beat X-Death! Okay, this is automatic, I'm not pressing any buttons. Is it because the crystals are all gone? The world will be engulfed by the Void. And the dialogue speed is too quick! 
We have the four essences of elements, don't we? Or whatever you want to call them. I guess. Not to mention the crystal shards. Hope, bless the earth. I guess that's what's dragging us around. Courage, light the fires. Devotion breathed life into the waters. And passion spread knowledge on the winds. So the crystals are going to where the four tablets were sealed. New locations. Earth, water. Fire is the under the sea. Hellhole, I suppose. Um... Instead of their old resting place- well, I guess they were the resting places were different in different worlds, so this makes sense. Wind hasn't returned yet, but everything that the Void took is being taken back. The world is being reborn. And the crystals as well. There was still power remaining in the crystal shards. Thank goodness! Lena, Ferris, Kryle, it's because you took such good care of the shards. Don't forget yourself, Barts. Or Grandpa! Now, when will return to Tycoon? Correct, my dear! Dad. Grandpa. Father. Papa. Kelger. Zerzat. The world still needs you. It's too early for your kids to be meeting us. Go, return to your world, the one you save. It's... is that Hiru? It's a Windrake, but is it Hiru? No, it must be the other Windrake.
and the wind crystal returns as well. Grandpa! Oh, it was mid? A letter's arrived! Sid, Mid, how are you? It's me, Kryle. Somehow we made it back. Epilogue time. Yeah, it was the Windrake of Ball. Feels like that fight was just a bad dream. It's the Mughals! Since then, I've traveled all over. Seems like everything's become peaceful like before. Well, that's surprising. The Chancellor of Tycoon seems quite happy. I mean, I'm surprised Ferris is here, actually. I thought she would return to being a pirate. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. However, Ferris seems worried about her pirate crew. Yep. Called it. Out the window! To a pirate in I be go. Everyone in Ball is worried, since they have no ruler of their own? Well, technically you would be the queen, I think. Maybe I'll be queen, as if. It'd be pretty cool though. Teehee! Yeah, you are technically queen. Although, you would have a reg regnant. Regrant. What, how, however you pronounce it. Bars went back to his hometown. He's not giving up traveling, but he said he wanted to spend time near his parents before he set out again. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, Boku and Coco are children! Baby Chocobos are the cutest! You simply must see them! Ah, that's adorable! It's been a year since then. Lena and Ferris are busy with running Tycoon and all, and Bart's is off on his own. If if any of the others happen to ask about me, no, I'm sure they'll come. Tell them I miss them. I assume it's sad. I didn't actually see because it's going too fast. Kryle, you worked so hard. Everyone fought well. Wait, uh, right. <laughs> Too bad nothing ever came of this, like an ability or something, that would have been cool. But oh well. It's a super minor thing. <laughs> I remember that! Barts, I suppose. I see what they're doing. Okay, I don't need to talk. And Lena was poisoned! And Lena was poisoned some more! And she wasn't poisoned this time. I, I was certain that she was gonna, they were going to show the part where she was poisoned the third time. Um, she is such a major complex. It's unhealthy is what it is. Syndra.
Everyone's lost something in this game. But I guess it all turned out fine in the end. Losses and all. It's just really a shame. It's really too bad that they had to lose what they did. Oh, I remember that. Cryle to the rescue! Oh, it's the Great Tree, or Protecting Tree, or whatever the hell it was called. <laughs> Guardian Tree, that's it. Oh, she returned to where Galoof sacrificed his life. Oh. The crystals have been restored and everything's peaceful, but for some reason I'm sad. That was Kryl, I assume, but... Oh no. Uh, to the voice of me. I guess it's just that... Since Grandpa died, I've been all alone. Poor Kryl. Everyone else has something. Despite having lost. But all, but all Kral had left was her grandfather. You know, the new crystals are larger than the old ones. I just realized. I guess that makes sense, though. Since they're the combined crystals of the formerly two worlds. See you, Grandpa. What are you talking about? You're not alone. <laughs> it's all three of them. We're ha here with you. Buck up, kiddo. Everyone, you made it. As if there was any doubt, like we'd forget about a friend after we were together for so long. Everyone, you... <laughs> Tears don't really suit you, Kryle. You have to be strong. Galoof's laughing at you, blubbering, kiddo. That's a nice touch. Whoa! Where did the flowers all come from? The crystals have regained their power. It's time for us to protect them. Like Dad and the others did. Say, do you hear that? Aye, that I do. Grandpa's voice? No, just the wind through the trees. The rippling of the water? Just the crackling of flames. The settling of the earth. Don't know. I'm not sure what it is, but I can hear it. 
Yes, something warm. Let's go. Chocobos! <laughs> What a way to end that. Man, the feels. Just all the feels from this game. I mean, I didn't know what I was missing before, but now I do, and I'm uh, sort of upset I missed it for so long. This is probably one of my favorite Final Fantasies now. I mean, I don't know where I would rank them all. I don't, My favorite is Final Fantasy game is Final Fantasy IX for so many reasons, but this is definitely somewhere high up there. Like, maybe in the top three, I would say. Don't ask me what... Don't ask me what specifically two and three are, because I, I couldn't tell you, but this is in it. Um, if I have one regret, aside from just having waited so long to play through this game, it's that I knew s s the spoilers I did. Like, going in, before I even started playing this game, I knew that the, there were two worlds. I knew uh, that Gallup would die. That's a big one. And I knew the X-Death is a tree thing. Although, to be honest, I didn't actually believe that one until it, ha until it happened. Um... <laughs> I can only imagine what it would have been like had I gone in completely unspoiled, but such is the nature of pop culture, I guess. As it is, there were still a lot of surprises that really took me off guard, and... And it was a really entertaining game. And I can definitely- what's more, I can definitely see the influence a lot that this game in particular has had on a lot of the future uh, installments. Like, just Gilgamesh is an obvious one, but there's also things like, well, this isn't the first one with the job system. Strictly speaking, Final Fantasy III had it as well. But I think this is the first one where they did the job system well. Because I'm not touching Final Fantasy III because, mostly because the job system really drags it down, I feel. And it's just not really worth playing for me. Not, it's not like it's a terrible game or anything. I mean, someday I may, may still play it, but I just don't like it that much. But then again, I did Final Fantasy II, but... <laughs> I think it's probably a better game than that one, but I did Final Fantasy 2 more or less because it was a bad game. Uh, to give it, I don't know, my reasoning behind Final Fantasy 2 was really, play, starting to play Final Fantasy 2 was really bad reasoning. Oh well though. Still, this game. This game. I will go, I will probably say, of all the games I've less played so far, I probably had the most fun with this one. Uh. Yeah, just straight up, because it's lighthearted, but it's still a good story, and I actually really feel for the characters. Like, all of them lost, lost people and beings that they really cared about in the course of it, and x is like a step ahead of them basically the whole game, without it seeming forced. Like in Final Fantasy IV, the bad guy was ahead of them in Final Fantasy IV, but it was really in sort of a forced manner. Like, he had massively, stupidly, way ahead power just in terms of his army. And every time the... And basically every time the heroes would get ahead, someone would turn traitor and there would be... Or there would be a sudden plot twist that... Was so wasn't really properly foreshadowed or anything. They foreshadowed everything in this game. It was just definitely a really good game. 
Oh, what's this? I see. They're listing all of her masteries. She had a lot. More than anyone else, I think. Well, Bart's might have had more. Because she did... Well, I don't know. Gilgamesh. Twenty two. But Cryle definitely just carried me through easy mode, what like for the last two or three dungeons in dungeons in this game. Eh, can't talk. I think she gets some extra- yeah, she has an item and, and attack commands. <laughs> wow, that's actually- I guess it counts the spell abilities as more than one ability learned. That would explain why she has the highest. Although it doesn't explain why Ferris is comparative- well, I guess Ferris just did black magic, really. Lena did summoning and time magic and white magic, so she would be the highest then. Hmm. Okay, this is occurring to me. Why does a tree need armor? Whatever. It's not important. It's not. Oh, actually, you're tied! Neat! And, and a little bit surprising, actually. Whatever. Though. And this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy V with me, Chaos Blue. Um, it's been a hell of a ride. I've enjoyed it and I hope you did too. Make sure you tell me you did in the comments, I suppose. And until next time. Have a fantastically great day.